Good morning. Man, it has been a minute. I didn't even realize how long it's been. It's almost been like a month, which is crazy. Time has flown by. Um, I'll do like a little update later, but my name is Angelique if you are just finding my channel. Actually, Angelique Hartman. Uh, Sawyer and I got married about two-ish, two and a half months ago. Um, but yeah, this last month like flew by. We were in Tennessee one weekend and then we went on a week long honeymoon. Um, but we'll get to all that a little later. Um, today is going to be a little day in my life, getting back into the rhythm of things, updating you guys and just kind of showing you guys what like a normal day in my life looks like. So we're getting back into vlogging and I'm very excited about it it'll feel good. I'm really happy to be back. So I hope you guys are doing well. So we're going to start off the day strong and head into Pilates. I have found a new studio and I've been so happy with it. So let's go get our workout in and then we'll start our day. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good to see you. sweating profusely that class got me that was the hardest class that I've taken at this studio <sighs> Amy you killed me <laughs> man that felt good Whew. coffee in the morning makes my soul so happy <laughs> um, so I had been struggling with like my workout routine pretty much since we moved to Florida. So I haven't been working out consistently since like before we even started packing our house in Hawaii. Um, I just didn't find something that I loved here. I was doing Orange Theory uh, because that's what we had. And we were doing F45 in Hawaii, which I absolutely love. So I was hoping there was a F45 here, but there's not. The closest one is like an hour away, which <laughs> does not work. So um, I was trying Orange Theory and I just like didn't love it. It didn't get me up in the morning, want to go do it. It didn't give me really the results I was looking for. So I wasn't inspired to do it. And I know that sounds cheesy, but it actually does help if you do something you actually enjoy doing. So I decided to switch it up and look for a Pilates studio. Um, if you've been following me for a very long time, you know when we lived in California, I went to Studio MDR, which is like the best Pilates studios on the planet. It is so freaking good and so hard. And I had never had um, a physique like when I was doing Studio MDR because I actually enjoyed going. Um, I went like seven days a week, which is nuts, but I loved it. Um, it's just, it kind of reminded me of like ballet and dance and it was just really, really hard. So anyways, I Googled Legree Method, which is the type of Pilates. It uses that machine called a reformer. So it uses the resistance and it just hits different. I ended up finding a Legree Method studio here. As you saw, it's called Indo 50. And my gosh, it's pretty good. It gives me everything I want. I enjoy going. I now have been, I now end up doing it like five days a week. So that's a big difference. Um, so I've been doing that consistently um, besides like the honeymoon week for like the last, so I guess the last month-ish. And I've already noticed a huge change in my body. I feel better. My body is like looking better. Not only is it accomplishing like one of my goals of working out every day, but mentally it helps so much. I swear Pilates is like a deep form of meditation because you have to go somewhere else to be able to do like a two minute plank to do these resistance moves. So I don't know, I've just missed it. The moral of the story here is if you are not enjoying your workouts, find something different, try a different app, try a class, try a totally different type of working out um, because it has immensely helped me physically, mentally, and now I enjoy waking up and getting my Pilates in every day. That's my little rant about working out. Um, and now I have achieved one of my goals by working out continuously. So anyways, that is that. Workout story update. There it is. Let's go make my bed because I have not done that today.
much better. If you do not make your bed every day, start now and do it for a couple days. It's life changing. All right, so I have rinsed off and today's game plan is to get some errands done, some things around the house done, and then I think around four o'clock, Sawyer and I are going to go play a round of golf. Um, we have really been enjoying it. Um, it's something fun that we can do together. And I have learned <laughs> that I am not half bad. I actually can hit the ball straight um, and it's been really enjoyable. I have never played sports in my life. I always like danced or cheered or more of more of like the theatrical. <laughs> um, but I did play golf when I was a kid, so, but not very well. So anyways, long story short, we have revisited the sport. I am not half bad and it's something fun Sawyer and I can do together. So that is the game plan, although it just rained. So hopefully it clears up by the afternoon. My point to all that is, I'm putting on, out my little golf dress, but it is the most adorable, like, athletic look for summer, and it has this cute little mesh side, and this little mock neck, so it's actually an adorable piece for summer. It has nothing to do with golf. I think it's actually, like, more of a tennis dress. There's, like, little pockets on the shorts, golf, tennis, athletic wear. Super cute, so we're gonna put it on with tennis shoes and a hat and call it good. So that is today's outfit. I'm gonna quickly do my makeup and we'll get going. Ready for the day. Let's throw on the hat and call it good. <laughs> oh, I think it's, oh, ah, sorry, Oliver. Oh my gosh, I almost tripped over my dog. Whew. And that is my little sporty look for the day. Wow, to say that it is raining is an understatement. It is like a torrential downpour out there. So we will see if golfing actually happens today. Our tea time isn't till four, so we have some time to figure it out and to see if it clears up. So we will deal with that later. But I have here some really adorable products from Coco Lou, and I actually teamed up with them for this video to share with you some of their adorable, sustainable products. So I actually came across Coco Lou over on Instagram. I saw one of their posts with one of their super bright, adorable daily tote bags and I was like, hmm, I think I'm gonna need that in my life for summer, for travel, for a beach bag. It just looked like the perfect summer bag to either match like a bright outfit or an all white outfit. So I'll show you guys what color I went with, but I was definitely torn between a few of the colors. So I know the anticipation is killing you, but I ended up going with the neon orange daily tote bag. Um, I got the smaller size, there's actually two. There's the plus size and the smaller size. I was actually looking for like more of a sporty tote bag to use like for golf. I can throw my fanny pack in here, my water bottles and snacks. And I just loved this neon orange for summer. I was gravitating towards the Barbie pink or the bright yellow. Um, I know, you're probably surprised that I didn't go with the Barbie pink, but I think I wanna get the bright Barbie pink in the plus size. Um, I think that would be adorable. Loved how lightweight this is, like it is so light. It is very, very durable and it is washable. So if it gets dirty, if something gets on it, I am not worried about it. I can just throw it in the wash. And the best part is all of the products are sustainable, eco-friendly. And this bag right here is actually made up of eight recycled water bottles and the plus size is made up of 20. So not only is Kukulu doing their part, but all of their products are really adorable. And then I also have here, 
Coco Lou also sent over a pair of their white knit sneakers. I love a pair of clean white sneakers and I actually was in need of a pair, so this is perfect timing. And I just love the green bottom, it makes it fun and preppy. Show you guys what they look like. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This all white outfit with this bright orange bag is super cute. So basically what Coco Lou has proven is you do not need to compromise aesthetics for sustainability. So to wrap all of this up, Coco Lou was sweet enough and gave you guys a code to use. So feel free to use Angelique 10 for 10% off of your purchase and go check out all the other colors that they have in the tote bags, as well as all the other eco-friendly items on their site. So I will have everything linked down below and all the information will be down in the description box. Yeah, this orange was definitely a good choice, but I also need the pink. So I think I'm gonna get it in the bigger size. I decided that. <laughs> right, let's go face the rain and get my errands done. It's still a downpour out there. So I am the type of person that loves to run errands. You've probably picked up on that by now, but um, I don't know. I just find it very soothing and I love crossing things off a to-do list as you guys know. Um, but today there's a few things I need to do and there's a few things I want to do. Um, so I'm going to stop into Target and just see what's new. I need a few grocery items. Also, I just want to go into Target because I'm right here. Um, and then we will continue on. I also want to stop into Home Goods because I'm also right here and you just never know what you can find. And then we'll do the things that I actually need to do. But until then, let's go have some fun um, at Target. <laughs> the sun came out, it stopped raining on my drive over here. Um, so that's good, but it is muggier than I'll get out. Whew. Florida summer, here we go. do a, a grande iced vanilla latte with an extra shot and then can I do a spinach wrap a feta spinach wrap anything else for you nope that'll do all right it's gonna be 11 13 at the window awesome thanks I haven't eaten all day I just realized that so coffee and a sandwich while running errands sounds nice <laughs> We're about to go into Home Goods, and by like we, I mean you and I. <laughs> um, I don't have anything specific I'm looking for. I just have some projects in some areas I'm trying to like finish and find things for, so I keep stopping in. Um, so I'm gonna go a few times this week. I actually had luck here a few days ago. Like I found some great items. Um, so maybe in the next vlog I'll do a Home Goods haul. Um, so I'm gonna try to stop in a few more times, see if I can find anything else to accumulate a good selection of things to show you guys. So we're gonna go in, see what we can find. Let's see if we can get a few decor items off the list. Nothing too crazy. I did find two mirrors to possibly hang up over our nightstands. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I want to fill our bedroom, like fully decorate it. So I've been creating mood boards um, and kind of putting all the pieces that I'm thinking. And I just can't decide how I feel about the mirrors over the nightstands. I don't know if people are still doing it. So um, not that that matters. If I like it, I can do it. So I found two and I'm going to set them over the nightstands and just see what I think. Um, but I do think we're going to like mix up some of our furniture in there, um, and get a new bed frame. So I don't know, just playing with some things that mood board definitely does help. So I'll show you the inspiration that I'm thinking for that room. But now I am done playing <laughs> and now I am off to do things that I actually need to do. And the first thing is go to Walgreens and pick up prescriptions. Super fun. And then we're off to Sam's. And I'm out of breath. <sighs> All right, here we go. How can I help you? Hi, how are you? I'm all right, how are you? Good, can, I'm here to pick up a prescription. Last name, Cooper. I 
was probably the quickest trip to Sam's that I have ever done. <laughs> so I will say I definitely do miss having a Costco closer to us. Um, ours is about 45, almost an hour away. Um, Sam's like it's pretty good just for, like for the basics but I miss finding like more unique items and like just things like that I'm just more of a more of a Costco girl so I have to venture up there and do a big restock here soon maybe I'll do that next week until then we're gonna get some gas <laughs> told you running errands Feel much better not having seven miles of gas <laughs> and that my friends concludes the errands portion of this video now i'm going to go home and unpack the car <laughs> so i just walked in the door i just brought everything in and like i said it's been pouring here and you have to see maple you look ridiculous she's not as soaked as she was but Hi, your hair is curly and you have wet dots. <laughs> I'm sure you smell like wet dog. So since I kind of just did more of like a time lapse while shopping, I'll quickly show you guys what I found. There isn't much, so it'll go by really quick. At Sam's Club, I grabbed these beautiful roses. They're absolutely stunning. They're like darker on the edges, on the outside, and light pink. Coffee creamer, grapes, raspberries, strawberries. Then from Target, we are doing tacos for dinner. So I grabbed some black beans, diced green chilies, as well as some little cups that I put all these wet food in. So I needed some more so I can have a better stock in the fridge of pre-done, pre-measured dog food for him. And the last thing I grabbed at Target is Joanna Gaines' new Magnolia table, her new cookbook, it's the volume three. I have the other two and it was actually 30% off at Target, which was nice. Um, but I just like her cookbooks. First of all, the photos are really beautiful, so I always have one displayed um, on the counter. But I also like how easy her recipes are. They're not too difficult. And for the most part, like all of the ingredients you can like find in your fridge, she doesn't use like crazy things that you're only gonna use once, which is, you know, nice and convenient. So. I'm excited to check these out. And sometimes I look through cookbooks just to find inspiration. And whoa, one of my goals for this year is to get more creative with cooking. I love cooking, but I need to make it more of a priority. And what I mean by that is like plan meals and enjoy it more. Most of the time, by the time I get to the end of the day, I'm like all frazzled. I'm like, oh my gosh, dinner. I totally forgot about dinner. And then Sawyer will ask me, what's for dinner? I'm like, haven't even thought about it and it's like 6:37. So that is my goal for this year. Actually, not just this year, like in the next month or two. Start to take time, meal plan, meal prep, and get inspired by it, not just like survive cooking. You know what I mean? So if you have any good recipes or any cookbooks that you recommend, let me know. I have quite a collection. Um, I don't know if you remember, but I have all of my dad's cookbooks and he loved to cook so that's also another reason why i want to get into cooking because it's a little part of him that i can pass down to my kids and yeah we're always a big cooking family lots of barbecue lots of unique meals so that is something i want to do for myself in the next little bit so i'm gonna put this away real quick and then touch base with sawyer and see if we're going golfing um the rain has cleared has it rained in about an hour and it doesn't look too scary out there. So fingers crossed, cause I would like to get out there, especially since it's not like super hot and sunny. So um, I hear him, he's on a call. So let me do this and we'll, do no, you're good. Getting us snacks together, all right, so cool. Um, so we've decided to go golfing. Uh, I know, we'll see if it pours on us when we're out there, but um, Getting snacks together, my Cheerios, some beef jerky, my phone, my wallet, Sawyer's wallet. All right, we have a tea time in 20 minutes, so somehow I timed this day just right. Whew. Ready? Ready, I just need to get some water. 
You're gonna beat me. Watch this. Oh, I'm Do definitely not beat gonna me. beat you. <laughs> Jeez! What a bullet! Oh my god! Nice! I'll take that. That hole has taken more balls from me. <laughs> oh my good god. So we have made it to the ninth and final hole of today's golf session. So we're setting up his shot right now. Nice. That's what you got. I'm only five over for the whole nine. If I just don't destroy this too badly with water, this is my best game ever. Yeah, he's doing really well. <laughs> Myself, on the other hand, today's a fun game. I stopped keeping score. It was just one of those days. My, I've, I've had a good run this last like two weeks, so I will take it. I hit the but. one sliver that I could get across without going in the water. Good enough. I just have to stay out of the water so I don't get like a five or six on this par three. I'm obsessed. <laughs> All right, last hole. All right, know. let's see what I can do. Fun fact. I've seen if we're almost hole in one. Yep, this is the hole that I almost got a hole in one. I will fill a little clip here, but let's see what I can do today. Beautiful shot. Look at that, right on the green. Good game, baby. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, what did Thank I almost God. just do? I got a hole in one. I almost. Hitting it off the ground and ramping it off. I can't believe this. It was like the hole's right there. Like it's literally only 60 feet away and it perfect. hit the pin. I couldn't even make that up. I couldn't try if I wanted to. If that pin wasn't there, I would have gotten a hole in one. Are we going double hole? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am absolutely exhausted after that round of golf. I don't know what it is, but that one, that one took it out of me. Um, but Sawyer did something fun. Sawyer rented us all the, um, what is it? Oh, the new John Wick. It just came out to rent, so we're gonna watch it out in the theater um, probably like an hour or so. So we're gonna have a little family dinner. Uh, his mom is coming over, and I'm gonna make tacos, and we'll have dinner before a movie. So that'll be fun. So I'm just gonna make some classic old tacos, and yeah, I'm starving, so. I'm very excited about this. All right, let's get started. Does this wow. taste just like sour cream? Yes, just like it. Mm -hmm. You want to know the difference? Okay. Except it's a lot more protein. Good. A lot of stuff. Okay. So this should do. It should do it. Thank you. Yeah. Don't put me in there. I just took a big bite in front of your camera. Yeah. Can't guarantee it. Come on. You signed a waiver years ago. I don't think so. So. Is this John Wick already been in the theaters or no? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Delicious, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh good. That makes me happy. Excellent. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna make my taco. They're already eating. We're gonna all watch. Honestly don't think I ate anything. No? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm trying to think. Well, I'm glad you like it. I'm going to make my taco. We're going to watch Queer Eye and then John Wick. It's a good night. <laughs> Hi, 
table. Come here. Come here. Right away. Whoa, say hi. <laughs> You're getting so big, huh? All right, so it is 8.15. We are about to go start John Wick, so I am going to call it a night. It was a very productive day working out, getting errands done, going golfing with Sawyer, and cooking dinner with the family. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing what a day in our life looks like. I miss Maple. Oh, that was a big kiss. And also, I will have everything linked down below for Coco Lou. So that is it for this video, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>